Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth episode of Let's Play Dark Souls. I'm Goromoth and once more I'm joined with Dismal Bass and before you say hello I'm just going to quickly jump in and say I have, we don't have to see me advance this time, I have gone straight to the first point we've got to. Wait, 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 so the trap didn't come down? Yeah, it's only a one shot thing. Okay. Oh, so it's so, only the uh, first time? Yeah, it's only the first time. Because afterwards it's kind of pointless. Yeah. So this time uh, you also may have noticed I swapped back to the hood. Hmm. Which gives us better, uh, gives me better rolling. You're just um, generally fast, I think. Are you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We haven't got to this point before. It's new. I don't like it. It is. I'm outside of my comfort zone. <laughs> oh, another master key area. Yeah, I know exactly what's down here. Um, what's down here? Let's find out. Oh, we'll we? find out. Yeah, I was like, well, I got a chance of going up or down, and. Master key. Uh, uh, my logic was master key generally leads to secrets, so you know, let's hmm. head downwards. There's, to be honest, there's not much right now. Yeah, this is kind of uh, not as exciting as I was thinking it was going to be. Try lightning. Yeah. What? Oh, what? And then I see this guy. What? He's fast. Yep, he sure is. I sure do six. six damage to him. It's worse than the other guy. Four. Yep. I also I also know because I've looked up stats on this guy. This guy has, a, I believe, a thousand and twenty-four health. Right. Try uh, lightning. He it says, is. Though. I can tell you what's down there now. Basically, uh, that is a a shortcut you open later on. Ah, uh, okay. You're supposed to come from behind that door, but you can you can also open that door from behind like this. So I'm just like, all right, I'll just keep running for him. It'll be fine. Yeah. Um. But then oh. he's still following me. What the hell? Are those the explosive barrels from before? No, they're just barrels, but... Look at Whoa, how much stamina what? and... Yeah. <laughs> 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 Don't teach you to walk downstairs. Yep, that weapon he is wielding is called the Dragon Tooth Mace. It's literally a, dra a dragon's tooth. Does he drop it if you kill him? I don't believe so. Oh. So Can you get it later? Um, you don't know. So, okay, before someone yells at me in the comments for not cutting out, there is a reason I haven't cut out, like, done a fade to back where we were, and that's because I realized something. Ooh, what? If you look over there, there are some battlements we haven't been on before. Oh, yeah. And I realized I can actually get to that area, so I, I'm just like, well, I'm going to explore that area. Yeah, sure, why not? It's pretty good. I mean, these guys are pretty easy compared to the guys you've been killing. Especially compared yeah. to that guy with the dragon tooth, whatever it was, mace. Yeah, Dra one. dragon tooth mace. Yeah, I know for a fact he does. I don't know if he drops the dragon tooth, but I know he drops a ring. Oh, cool! And that ring doubles the doubles your carrying weight before you start becoming encumbered. It's a very, very good ring. Yeah, that sounds pretty epic. Spin. Oh, you I kicked was, him. Oh, you kicked yeah. him there. I, 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 we haven't pointed out. I actually kicked him. This is how you're supposed to deal with Spearman. You kick him and they're like, oh, he kicked me, I don't know what to do. Yeah, like that, you kick him, don't get the guard down, then you can lay into them. <sighs> nice. Yeah, see, that's how you deal with Spearman, like, how much easier would that have been if I'd been doing that before? Hmm. Is this, is this all that's over here? Oh, no. No, no, the stairs down. Hidden staircase. So we get to a nice area we haven't been in before. Awesome. I'm gonna head out this way. Um. Yeah, best message. And we have another NPC. Well now, sweet. You seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? So this guy's a trader. He customer. sells things. I trade for souls. Everything's uh. for sale. So <laughs> now I can now I can spend souls on items. Can you not? Can you ever sell anything? Yeah, I can sell stuff. I don't know because I have nothing that I'd want to really give up. Okay. So I'm going to head back to him because I just realised that he, as well as a purchase, he has a, an option called talk, so I decided to try that, see what that does. Yeah, see, if he, see if he gives like any advice or anything. Things are getting treacherous in these parts. Oh, we, did that refill your Estus flasks? No. You sure? I had five. Yeah, I had five and I haven't used the one in any of the fights. this place, it might end up being your grave. He's really creepy. Yeah, he is a skeleton. To chat, chat. 
we talk business. Alright, sorry, 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 he's not going to tell me anything. So, There's a guy. Yeah, I didn't notice him. I was like, oh god! <laughs> that genuinely, like, startled me, because yeah. I was, I was sort of tunnel bit, like, re-watching that, like, when I was editing this, I was just like, oh, right, that's really obvious that he's there, but I tunnel visioned on that message in the fireplace, and just didn't notice him. <laughs> so the sign back there, the, the message back there said, beware of gorgeous view. Yeah. Why? I, I don't know. Oh, there's a bunch of guys here. Ah, and this is how to get above where we came into this place, by. It is. This is the ladder. This is the ladder that we saw before. Hmm. These guys are just so easy now. Yeah, but this is a classic example of Dark Souls. This is what I was talking about, I believe, last episode. Like, it, you can get into that, into that mindset of, oh, these guys are easy, I don't need to concentrate, and then one of them lands a flurry attack on you and you die. Hmm. Oh. Okay, a new area. New area, yep. Yeah. Praise the sun. We have throwing knives. <gasps> Sweet. So I will say, like, I don't. You may have seen like a sort of piece of wood sticking out there with a doorway. You can get to that doorway from here. And what's but in I there? Ah, uh, more items. I don't realise that yet. That's one of the things I need to loop back and get okay. at some point, okay. which will be a later episode. Is it just a running jump sort of thing off the edge? Yeah, I didn't know. I, at this point, I haven't discovered running jump yet. So now I'm just going to cut straight to, you know, the tower. We've yeah. done everything we need to. Going to head back up here because this is where I died. Get my souls. Oh, yeah. We are de most definitely not going down. No. That's I'm so, so sad. Oh, uh, wait, no, it's not here. What? So um, I found out later that like, there's more barrels up here. Oh, yeah. I don't believe I smashed these. I'm pretty sure I don't smash these. Because in one of them is a, I guess you could call it an enemy. It's basically it's called a treasure lizard. It drops treasure. Huh. Okay, maybe it was. Oh wait, it is there. I can hear it. Yeah, I was gonna say I can hear a sort of sparkly noise. Yep, that was the treasure lizard, and I did I just ignored it because I didn't realise it was there. So is the idea that if you kill it, it drops loot. Yeah, I need to go back and get that because it drops loot. I really need. Oh, okay. That's another thing I'll be looking back to get in a later episode. But I cannot get over how amusing the uh, ladder climbing animation is. It's almost like strutting, but in ladder climbing form. <laughs> Ouch. I'm not entirely sure how he took damage there. He attacked you. Yeah, but I had my block up. Or at least I thought I did. I think if it exceeds the amount of stamina you got left, you take the rest of the damage, right? You are about to die. Uh, quite possibly. I almost died there because I got stuck on bricks. Yeah. <laughs> it's quick block by me. I'm quite proud of that. Yeah, it's pretty but, good. Yeah. Thank you. So it's pretty easy. Just two crossbowmen. Yeah. But you may have noticed that we came through white fog to get here. Oh. You also may notice that if... Am I going to move the pan, pan the camera up a bit, bit? Oh no, this... Right, okay, what I tried here is... You know I keep finding these messages with Praise the Sun? Yeah. I know, I'm going to go down. Basically, at, at one point, I tried to use the gestures to bow to the sun or something to see if it does something. Spoiler, it doesn't. Oh. Why are there signs that say Praise the Sun there? I honestly don't know. Um. So you may see on the other side that the other door has fog. Ah, so this is literally just a sort of world between worlds. Sure. Uh, oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> or more accurately, it's a boss fight. <laughs> and you've got no excess lasts left. That sure is the case. So there are multiple tactics to do this boss. Um. Yeah, and they are. Okay. I'm just sort of showing, like, letting this play out a bit. I tried to drink a flask and I don't have any left. Okay, I'm doing one of the tactics now, but unwittingly. And that's, well, I, I, I messed it up there, but if you may notice, his attacks are extremely wide. Yeah, I got killed. His attacks are, his attacks are extremely long ranged. Okay. Like, the, the way he swings his weapon, it's a very broad sweep. You can actually get between his legs and uh, dodge a lot of the damage. Oh, right, okay. That's one tactic. Um, so, yeah, we're back at the tower. 
I'm gonna head through the white fog. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna head through the white fog. There is other tactics. There is a ta you can actually make him fall off the edge. Oh, there really? is broken bit. Yeah, I not haven't tried to actually to do that before, but that is a bit. You can do that. Hmm. And if you do that, I imagine you don't get anything you might drop. Uh, I'm not sure actually. But yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just going to speed this up because, you know, we've seen me fight these guys before. So just... I didn't want to just cut to just before the boss. So, you know, just cut to here and then speed up. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> More of that, please. I like that. Oh, that'll happen. Awesome. Yeah, it'll happen. That's that's my basic editing technique right now. So, yeah, I'm going to try and bow to the sun. I feel it was worth a shot. Like, to use the... Did you try the joy one? No. Mm -hmm. You should. I doubt it'll work, but this at least this time we have three Esther flasks for the boss. Two Esther flasks for the boss. Yeah. Chum, 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 chum. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so we're gonna go and spawn the boss again. Spawn the boss. Yeah. Oh, this is your blood stain, is it? No. I just wanted to see what I just wanted to check it to see if it gave me any hints. <laughs> There's someone running away from the boss up a ladder, possibly. Ah, uh, possibly, yeah. We may or may not be attempting to try that right now. Oh. Be wary of demon. Gee, thanks. Helpful. So yeah, we're just going to straight back up. This time, we're going to see what happens if you climb up here. He's gonna kill you is what's gonna happen. Nope. Oh, huh, okay. So I try to see what happened. I assumed he would come up. Which is what he does. Oh. Yeah, he just climbs up like that. Um, but I actually missed the trick there. So what I should have done there was, um, as you notice, there was quite a big, there's quite a big delay before he actually jumps up. Yeah. You can do a drop plunge attack on his face. Of course, that's what I thought you were going to do, but then you, you sort of didn't. Yeah, I didn't think about it. I was just wanting to see what, like, what happens if you come up here. Like, did he come up? It was just experimentation, really. Um, but yeah, you can do that. You can do drop plunge. It's one of the ways to beat him. Okay. You basically just like do a drop attack. It does about a quarter of his health. Ow. I rolled straight into the axe. You did yeah, that, yeah. You do, you, <laughs> you do a drop attack. Does about a quarter of his health. Then you basically just run to the other side of the. You run past him to the other end of the bridge, lower him back down, and then run back again. And that's me dead again. Well, this is just uh, education. Welcome to the bosses. Yeah. Welcome to the bosses. I have a new tactic now, don't worry. Oh yeah? Yep. Again, we're just gonna speed up through the uh speed up through the uh arches, get my souls back as well. <laughs> oh yeah. Right, got my power back. Nice, nice. pretty simple. Mm. So we're gonna use something we picked up. And they're not called fire bombs. Oh, before you before you get uh, excited. Okay, I, I nearly got excited there, but now that you told me not to, I won't. <laughs> uh, we I can't help but notice that there was a there was a message on the floor down below this battle. Was there? Yeah. Oh, fair enough. I didn't notice. This it might have been. So okay, so first off, if, yeah, first off, I think I used double a uh, two handed weapon because blocking this guy isn't gonna do anything. Yeah. And this is me, I just faded through me sort of using my inventory. I'm gonna use the gold pine resin. You're gonna see how good this stuff is. Nice. Okay. How many hits does it last for? Uh, it's timed. Oh. Again, I've forgotten to close the damn inventory. Whoa, what? He does not like lightning. Also, can you see I'm doing the tactic of standing between his legs so yeah. he can't actually hit me? Huh. I hit you then. He did, but yeah, that, that's how I dealt with him. Wow. <laughs> Is that what you expected? No, I did not think it would add that, but you should go back and try that other guy that said try lightning. I've only got two pine resin left. Mm. 
I'm just checking out what these other messages were, just to see. They're not helpful. No. <laughs> it doesn't last very long, does it? No, it really doesn't. Then again, with the amount of damage it does, like, it, it doesn't make... surprise me. Yeah. So I'm just breaking crates. <laughs> I'm gonna continue into new stuff. Oh, yeah. I like breaking crates in this game, it's very satisfying. It makes amazing noise. Mm -hmm. Got a large soul of an undead. Ooh. Lost undead, rather. It's just more souls. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so a nice bridge. Shortcut ahead. It's this door, I can't open it. Opens me the side. Wish I could. Yeah. Well, you got a master key. I do, but the master key doesn't open every door. Fatty ahead. Yep. I believe he's talking about this guy. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am uh, what? Dora, but you are. He's an NPC. Of the Lord of Are you? Yeah, I think he means like one of the cr like the actual mindless hollow like, oh, that right. we're killing. Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Yeah, this guy is a knight of the Lord Gwyn. Do you remember him from the intro cutscene? Oh yeah. No need to hide I get that look all the time. <laughs> So this guy, I didn't talk to, I don't think I talked to him enough times, but if you talk to him like a couple more times, he gives you the item that lets you summon people oh, into your world. Okay, so you need to go back and talk to him some more then. Yeah, but I also need to be human to do it. Oh. So at this point I'm just like, I'm just like, okay, there's something not right here. Yeah. So Kathy, Kathy walk out onto the bridge, read that, it says imminent fire, I'm like, okay. Oh god! What? <laughs> what? Hey, look, the dragon's there. So that's basically every time you go there, you automatically die. No, because now he like every single time I get there now, he'll be on the other side of the bridge looking so towards me. So, so the first time it's just auto death, and there's it's not auto death. If you if like I walked onto that bridge really slowly, and I didn't do anything about I didn't if I dived backwards, I p could have survived. Okay. I just that was that I'm not gonna lie. That's one of the deaths I class like in this episode. I believe there are two deaths that I classify as bullshit. That's one of them. That doesn't surprise me, that's awful. So now the fight the dragon is there. Yep. Damn. I'm I'm being really cautious because mm. like I'm expecting him to breathe fire down the bridge. <laughs> Cause that's what it looks like he'll do. It does, isn't it? I'm be, I'm pretty no I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty nervous at this point because I'm just like I don't wanna fight these guys, I don't wanna get stuck in a fight and then just get hit by fire. Yeah. <laughs> Did you not get your souls back? Uh, or did you die be between? Oh, I died between. Oh no. Because, like I said, I had like I done jump cuts and stuff. I'm pretty sure, in fact, that that my double death was caused by the room I said that you'll die if you rush because oh. I was trying to rush it because I was pissed off from dying to the dragon. Yeah. Understandable, really. That's really funny. <laughs> I'm still just really nervous about the dragon. Yeah, I can tell. You're kind of counting them a little bit, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's the him we dealt with uh, pretty yeah, easily. Yeah. Oh, he had something. Did he? Yeah. Oh, he did. Oh, I didn't know. I just wanted to get off the bridge. Oh. You don't want to go see what he's doing? I don't. I was thinking about it, but then I realized there's arches there. Oh, yeah. And I was just like, screw this, I'm going down. I wonder what is down there. Did you, did you go through there later? Uh, the dragon? Well, we're gonna go... We, that's where we're heading. We're just gonna not go do it via the dragon. Oh, okay. So... Do you recognize this? Um, no. We just kicked down a ladder. We've just unlocked the first shotgun of the game. Oh, nice! Oh, we're here. Okay. Yep. That's good because now you don't have to fight quite as many yep. people. Now I'm just gonna kindle as well. Oh, not kindle. Sorry, I'm gonna uh, rest of the bonfire to get all my Esther flasks. Nice. 
And we're also going to do some leveling up, and that'll pretty much round up episode four. This is back to the same place you were at the beginning of episode, like, two. Yeah, but technically we've made progress. We have the shotgun unlocked, and we've, you know, nice. got past the... Yeah. yeah, we got past the second boss. We killed the Taurus demon. Okay, sweet. Yeah, it's all going well, I feel. So we'll catch you guys for episode five, hopefully. See, See you later.